after dry I cover the Fimo wire with a layer of super glue. In this way I make the Fimo waterproof and much more resistant. Using my sculpting tool I spread the super glue over all the surface. And after the glue was dry I start sand the upper part of the figure. Trying to smooth the edges of the color, blend the Fimo air with the plastic. Also, because I decide to mine the foot soldier pants, I start sand the lower part of the figure, trying to remove all this furry texture. I decide to use this vintage shredder leg to give it a complete different look. And who have a vintage shredder know how weird his position is. Because of that, for balance and make stand the figure, I have to glue the leg in place. And this is the weird part. All the foot soldiers have this strange protection. Also, those pieces are quite fragile and often they make the difference from a complete figure and a broken one. Because of that, I don't want to use those pieces, but I want to try to recast one of them or have a lot of this weird protection. For create the mold, I use this two-part silicone rubber. The process is quite simple, you only need to mix those products in equal part. And after those colors are blended together, you have only a few minutes for create your mold. After that this clay becomes solid. Well, not solid, it's still technically rubber but it takes the shape of the object. Well, this is not the right product for make this recast. These mold are soft rubber and I need to bake this Fimo. <laughs> but I wanna try in any case. For sure, if I use resin, I have a way better result. But I don't have resin and I have a lot of Fimo. <laughs> In spite of everything, the result was great. And if you wanna help me to make other weird experiments like this one, feel free to like, share and subscribe the channel. It's a great way for support me and is completely free. Thank you.